Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Real sneak body kick. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land from anywhere. All right, so the taller fighter lands at me, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Oh, and he caught the kick. Flush right hand is true. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Great punch. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's done. He's done. Well, that punch, no good. to go. 20 seconds to go in round one. Big head kick. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point these are gonna really start to take an They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Good punch. Beautiful head kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Back and forth we go! Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice strike. Liver kick. 
Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, Superman punches true. Nice one, two there. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nice loop and punch. Nice leg kick there by Lee. Clean with the right hook. Lee's kick, that one blocked. Nice shot to the body there. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, like the thought there. Good attempt at a counter. Ultimately, it's no good. Big head kick lands. Ten minutes in the books. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the center. I mean, line. it was defensive brilliant. Yeah. I mean, just the ability to move, to roll his shoulders, to get his hands up and block his head as his opponent was trying to attack him was a sight to behold. It was a thing of beauty to watch a guy with such a vast understanding of defensive fights. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. They continue to exchange. Nice punch, Lance. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. The right hook to the body. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big kick land. Big body kick land. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Beautiful strike. Body kick now by Lee. Checks the leg kick. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, good lead right by Lee. him with the left. Big head kick lands. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. 